everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover action figures from Hasbro, Nickelodeon, and Boom Comics. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Let's start with Raphael. Raph's helmet is really cool. I like how it is the dinosaur once again. T-Rex, really nicely done. That's pretty neat. We also have the diamond indicative of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The belt with, I believe, yeah, it's a dinosaur on there. That's really cool. The size can be held in here as well. That's a nice touch. We also get the little diamonds on the arms, a gold strap, a lot of gold on this, a gold shell with a strap going all the way around. Pretty neat. It is sort of a looser part, and it does just stick right over here, which is pretty cool. I like the sort of, like, burst symbol on here that's really nicely done. Going down to the legs, we do have the diamonds over here, and the feet that I think are two-toed, which sort of matches the two-fingered um, ranger turtles, I guess. Turtle rangers? Go-go turtle rangers? I'm not sure what you exactly call them. Morphed rangers? But yeah, that's pretty neat as far as articulation goes. We have a swivel over here. It goes all the way around. It is a double-jointed kind of thing, so on the top there's a joint. On the bottom there's a joint over here. You can go up this far down this far. Watch out for the butterfly joint because it can go back and forth but it also goes up and down. Interestingly enough, it goes all the way around. You do get a swivel over over here. Kind of tight though. You do get double joint elbows. On this side it's incredibly loose for some reason. That's a shame. On this side it's pretty tight and well done. But yeah, that kind of sucks for that arm. I won't be probably posing these guys all that much but they are pretty cool. We do get a swivel over here at the waist with a little bit of back and forward. That's as much crunch as you'll get from these guys. We also get out this far and down, up this far and back, not that great. You do get a double jointed knee over here that works out pretty well. Going up, yeah, it's the boot holds it back. We also get a swivel up here, a swivel down here at the boot, thank goodness, down and up and pivot with two pegos on the feet. Really nicely done figure and it looks super cool. My only thing I gotta say is that every ranger turtle here is the exact same mold so I won't be going over the articulation but results may vary on whether the figures have you know loose joints or not. As far as accessories goes Raph comes with this head that is pretty cool and two sides over here with these holding hands. The sides are very nice, they're gold over here, a little bit gold over here with the symbol, and then very ornate kind of silver top with these two other pieces over here as well. I gotta say there's some chipping going on as far as it goes on this, that's kind of a shame. On this one it looks pretty okay, I'm just worried about this chipping the paint off of here, just like with the other ranger. This is a good head, it swivels all the way around, goes up and down a little bit, but it captures the menace of Raphael and how tough this guy really is. The slash effect he has is pretty cool but it only comes with one so that's kind of a shame. It also doesn't really fit entirely on this thing and I don't want to break it or anything so I guess I won't use it as much then. Leonardo is up next. Same stuff as before but we have the Triceratops on the head. Really nicely done for that. Same everything else though. The paint is still good. I gotta say though when pulling this away from the armor, there was some chipping going on. So just be careful when you, you know, get these out of the box. It does look great otherwise. I like this sort of sash over here going to the back for his weapons, which is pretty neat. We have some good legs over here that look cool. It's all the same body mold, but I appreciate the slight differences they have between each figure. He comes with two swords or daggers that you can stick together, and they're actually pretty cool. There's a separation point up here but he also comes with this lightning effect you can place on over here. I wish there were two so you could have one for each and that is a bummer as far as this goes. But it's pretty cool to have him either dual wield or single wield these swords. It's really nicely done. His unhelmeted head is very stoic and very sort of grim in a way. I do like how it's painted though and also we have the little triceratops on the belt as well as the two weapons. It's pretty neat. The blue is really nice and uniform. I like it a lot. Next up is Donatello. Donatello has the Mastodon helmet that looks really neat. I like it. It's pretty cool. 
I don't like it as much as the other mask on helmet from the actual Power Ranger character, but this works out pretty well. The red eye is going to give me a evil vibe, though. And the horns, too. It's kind of spooky. We have a nice mastodon on the little belt. We also have some nice diamonds over here and down here and up here. On the back, we have some holdage stuff for his weapons. And we also have a nice figure here. This looks pretty cool, and it's the same as the rest. So let's go on to those accessories. He comes with the axe that doesn't really want to fit in his hand, sadly. It looks nice, though, and has some good coloration. You can't move this thing, though. I've tried a bunch of times. So it's kind of a dud for me, sadly. What isn't a dud is this bow staff with an axe head, and also the lightning effect is pretty cool in it, too. It is a little difficult to actually place it on and where to put it, but this will guide you in, as well as the hole underneath. The Mastodon emblem is really nicely done over here, also over here. Very awesome. The alternate head is really nice, too. The purple's great. The goggles are wonderful. The eyes are really good, and that smile is nice. I also like how all the skin tones for the turtles are different, so that's really cool. Yeah, this is one of the best weapons so far for me. And last but not least is Michelangelo! I'm not sure if Mikey's getting the short end of the stick by being in the female costume or being in the what originally was portrayed by a male costume. I think this is really cool and a nice translation of the character to Ranger form. It isn't exact on the color, as was Donatello, but it's still really close and very good. The head sculpt is really nicely done with the little ears, and it's basically a larger version of the regular Yellow Ranger helmet. It's super nicely done. The whole body is the same as before. The yellow is a really nice vibrant yellow, and the back looks really cool, and you get some storage for the weapons right over here. So let's check out those accessories, shall we? Mikey comes with the most expressive head so far, probably a little too goofy with those eyes, but it's incredibly nicely done. I love this head. It's really... I can hear Rob Paulson just talking out of it. That's awesome. It's funny how I met him at least twice within the past few months of this review. That's really awesome. He also comes with these really cool nunchucks that are really great. You can put them together. I did not know that was a feature. That's super cool. I didn't know nunchucks worked this way. I thought you just whipped them around, but apparently you could put them together and do something else with them. You know, he looks like he's a barber. He can cut some hair or something. It's really nice, though. It's a great little accessory and looks pretty cool. The paint could be a little bit better on it, though. It isn't as vibrant as the yellow on his body, but I'll take what I can get in this case being a one-off crossover between the Power Rangers and the Ninja Turtles. There's also a purple whoosh effect that doesn't really work that well and isn't that great of a part of this figure. It's kind of a shame how it could work great, but not in this case. All the Turtle Rangers come with a pair of open hands and a pair of fists. The holding hands swivel left and right and go up and down in this fashion. Same with the other side, swivel and then up and down in this fashion. The outstretched hand goes left and right and then back and forward in the different fashion. Same with this hand over here, swivel and then up and down. Nicely done. And finally, the fist goes left and right, and then up and down, swivel. It's kind of difficult on this one for some reason, but it does its job pretty well. The same thing with the other one, swivel, and then up and down very nicely. Here are all the weapons holstered up. The size look really cool over here. This fits in interestingly well to the this thing. I don't know how well it's going to hold. It's just holding my friction. These just slot in. These slot in, and these you have to pinch and go from the bottom up, which is super interesting and weird. I'm not sure they thought it like through as well as they could in plastic, but they did their darndest. Dang it. Here are the Mighty Morphin Turtle Rangers next to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and you can see the similarities in them, but also the differences. The colors are brighter on the turtles as opposed to the Power Rangers, and they look really cool together, I gotta say. A lot of design inspiration taken from them, but also the gold is super nice on the Turtle Rangers. That's really cool. I really love how these all turned out, and they just scale well together. That's awesome. All the Turtle Rangers stand at about 5 and 3 quarters inches tall or so all across the board. They look great together, and I'm very happy with all of these. They're super wonderful looking and really cool. Cowabunga, baby. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Finally. At long last, I have the last slice of pizza. They're right behind me, aren't they? Uh, come on, guys. We'll divide it all into five. 
Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Coming up next is April O'Neil. This whole thing is a reuse of the Pink Ranger body, but this is phenomenal. Perfect and wonderful. Exactly what I've been looking for for the Pink Ranger. I might just take this after a review, change out the skirt, and that's gonna be my Pink Ranger for the Lightning Collection. That's awesome. I really love this figure and how it looks. This is amazingly done. I'm really, really happy with this. This is great. The pink is super vibrant and awesome. We get the little pterodactyl thing right over here. Everything just looks wonderful and definitely is a replacement for my previous Pink Ranger. She comes with a bow, this time in silver, and an arrow, this time in pink, along with another blast effect that comes in this nice sort of like salmonish kind of pink and she also comes with her blade blaster weapon doohickey that goes into the holster right over here this is all stuff we've seen before which is why I'm glossing over it but again I love these colors they're great all of them she also comes with an alternate April O'Neil head as well as a microphone and a camera two great accessories that you could use anywhere and last but not least she comes with two hands one karate chop and one fist. Very nicely done with this head. You get a swivel and you also get up this far and down this far. The rest of the articulation is exactly the same as the previous figure, but man, I am very happy with how they did this figure. I'm definitely going to use it for my lightning collection and I love the accessories and everything with this. It's just Knocks it out of the park, April. Good job. April O'Neil Pink Ranger stands at about five and a half inches tall, maybe slightly above, next to the regular Pink Ranger. Yeah, this one's perfect. I love it so much. I may even get a second one just to use for my regular Pink Ranger and April O'Neil Pink Ranger, or just give her a new body. Yeah, it's awesome. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Would I like to say something to my adoring fans? Of course! Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, be a YouTube member, hit the bell icon for more creativity, join my Patreon, click join, click everything! Click me! Next up is Foot Soldier Tommy. I get major Putty Patroller vibes from this and I think it's because the body's a reuse of that. We do get some reuse over here. This little poncho thing is new, the head is new, it can swivel and go up and down this far hindered by this poncho thing. It's pretty nice though. It looks really cool. It goes down to the bottom over here. It doesn't really pay. It does peg in on the back. That's pretty neat. The purple helps it from being really bland and it is kind of a blander figure. Probably used for an army builder, but it does look nice otherwise. We get some cool little like little things over here. I guess sort of spikes, I would guess. Spiked armor. We also get a nice like sash over here with a loincloth. And the feet are pretty cool. I think we've... No, we haven't seen this before. It's pretty cool, though. It's a nice little wrapping over here. It looks really nice. It's a nicely done figure. Just kind of bland, I think. And slightly boring in some ways. Tommy also comes with an unmasked head that's really cool. A sword that we've, I think, seen before, I guess. It's like an inner sword. And the pudgy pig lightning effect in this color. It's really nice. These hands are also really good. You could swivel them and then do the swordsman motion of up and down. It doesn't really work that well in this one. Let's try this one. Much better. Very nicely done. You can get a good swordsman position with this. It's really cool and looks great and also harkens back to the Sword of Darkness that he had when he was a ranger. Very nicely done. There also is a little piece over here for a mask that I'll show you in a second. He also comes with a mask that looks very 2020 chic and also this blast effect over here for his fist is really cool. It's like an icy blue. Very nice. Comes off and then on with a little bit of work around. You also get a swivel and then the up and down hinge in this case instead of side to side with a swivel as well. There's also a metal plate in the back which is a nice little touch and it's a pretty cool figure all things considered with the blandness. The head does have limited range back and forth a little bit but you do get some left and right which works and a little tiny bit of pivot here and there. The head can move down this far back pretty okay with some nice swivel and then pivot over here. The rest of the body is the same as the putties and regular rangers. I won't really bore you with that. Foot Soldier Tommy stands just under six inches tall or so next to the Lightning Collection putty. And yeah, you can see with this head too, there are a lot of similarities in the body as well. 
but they look good together. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Keep wearing that mask, it's not over yet. Of course, when it is over, there'll probably be a different global issue. That's why I'm being preemptive and wearing my timeshare salesman proof armor. And finally, we have Green Ranger Shredder. Green Ranger Shredder's helmet looks really cool. It is dragon and shredder combined. Very nicely done. The dragon shield looks really cool too. It's awesome. It does peg in the back and can peg in the cape. The cape's really awesome. It's smooth on the back and a little bit rougher on the front. There is a stitching back here. You can probably put a wire in for, for a wired cape if you want. There's tatters in the bottom, a lot of holes in it. Very nicely done. The head goes back this far and forward pretty far. Very awesome. It does swivel over here and you get a little bit of tilt. Taking it off and checking how it actually functions with the dragon shield. It does come off with a peg on it and the cape can come off. He looks somewhat naked without the cape. It's pretty nice though. We do go up this far on the arm. This is attached to, I believe, the interior of this right over here. That's pretty cool. It goes down, goes sort of all the way around, up this far, and back this far. It kind of swivels with it, but loses focus. You get a swivel right over here, a double jointed elbow right over there. We get the hand going down and up and then swiveling. We also get a swivel over here and back and forth and side to side all the way around with a crunch back this far and a crunch forward this far. Pretty nice. We also get the free floating little belt over here and splits. Very nicely done and down and up this far and back all the way back with a double jointed knee. The detents are kind of tough on this one. It does look pretty nice with that leg though, with the double jointed knee. You get a swivel on the top, a swivel on the bottom, and down, and then up, and then two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. It is hard to get him to stand though with these ankles, so just be a little bit careful. Very nicely done for this figure. It looks beautiful. I love the texturing on the gold. The cape is really awesome, I gotta say. And he just looks super cool and menacing. I would have liked Zed, but I think this is a good compromise and looks really cool. I mean, a villain with Power Ranger power, that's really interesting and nice. Green Ranger Shredder also comes with these claws that have fists on them at least, as opposed to the more relaxed hand. It does swivel and then hinge back and forth. They're pretty cool, but I don't see the reason for having both, honestly. Green Ranger Shredder also comes with these energy effects, but I don't think they're that great. They look like water coming off of that, not energy. If they were yellow or purple or something, or even green, they'd be really cool, but they're not really that great looking, and they also don't fit on that well. These blades tend to move inwards, and putting them on is kind of a pain. They do kind of clash against each other and don't really want to go in. You have to really focus on it and use both hands to get in, but successfully somehow I did it. But yeah, they kind of suck. I'm sorry. He does not come with an alternate head, but he can have the Tommy head fit on him, seeing as Tommy was the Green Ranger. It looks pretty cool and kind of menacing in this case. Ooh. My one gripe is that the purple doesn't match in this case, but it's from different figures and it's excusable. It looks cool still and fits very well. Green Ranger Shredder stands at about six and a half inches tall next to the regular Green Ranger. I do like how the coloration between both is different and the added purple is a nice touch. A sicklier green, a more bold gold. My only issue is the attachment of the dragon shield and how it pops off the chest, but I'm fine with that. I guess I'll have to live with it. The cape is surprisingly good. I really like how it works and the whole figure looks awesome. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids and your turtles. Overall, these figures are amazing. The crossover between Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles couldn't be better. I love all of these figures. The turtles are excellent and look really great. Sure, there's a few articulation, center of gravity, and paint nitpicks I have here and there, but I love the variety of the heads. The weapons are excellently transferred between the Rangers and the turtles combined and I just love how they look all together even though it's the same body mold they still share many differences between each other they're wonderful I do wish the lighting accessories were a little bit better but I feel like they really didn't care much about them as opposed to making the turtles look great April O'Neil is wonderful she's replacing my pink ranger once I'm done with her the head sculpt is very nice 
and the camera and microphone are a nice touch as well as the recolored accessories. Tommy's awesome. R.I.P. buddy. I'm really glad though that we have this figure because you can have multiple Tommies and get multiple Tommy heads along with multiple Foot Clan soldier bodies to use as fodder for your Ranger Turtles. Green Treader ties it all together. He is amazing and wonderful. That cloth cape has won me over and I'm very happy with him. I do wish the accessories were differently colored or something different with that, but he's awesome and a formidable foe to either Ranger or Turtle alike. All of these figures are incredibly awesome. Do not pass them up. I believe they're going on sale recently, so check out those sales and grab a box of pizza because you're going to be busy posing these things till the turtles come home. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned.